What's up everyone, this is Movie Game Lover 98 and today I'll be doing a movie review on this Pixar film from 2009, and that's called Up. So yeah, let's get started, and I hope you guys enjoy it, because I'm doing this in honor of the person who voiced Carl Fed Fredrickson, that'd be Ed Asner, because he passed away just today, may he rest in peace now, the late Ed Asner. So yeah, let's get started with the movie review on Up. So yep, this is what my copy looks like. The history on Up, it first came to theaters on May 29th, 2009, and then it first came to home media on November 10th, 2009, and you can find some versions. You can find one DVD disc, the one of the Blu-ray versions, and then it was reissued onto 3D Blu-ray on December 4th, 2012, the same day that Brave came to Blu-ray, and also when Finding Nemo was re-released or reissued onto 3D Blu-ray as well, and then it was re-released, well, onto 4K or just regular Blu-ray again on, well, March 3rd, 2020, which was last year, and I think that was it. So, yep, that was the history on Up. Now let's look at my copy, then we'll get in the, the plot of the movie. So, yep, here's what my copy looks like. This is just the standard Blu-ray DVD and digital copy version from 2009. Also the same time as the regular Blu-ray and the standard DVD. Yep, so it's from the creators of Finding Nemo and Monsters, Inc. Yep, Disney and Pixar's Up. You have Russell, Carl, Doug, Kevin, and the three Red Lear team's planes. And they're all in the sky. And a little sticker saying... Includes a short film, Doug Special Mission. Yep. Number one anime film of the year, and it says it twice. Because this was nominated for Best Picture since Beauty and the Beast. Yep, here's the front. Here are the spines of the slipcover. Here's a little picture of Doug, the, the dog himself. Anyway, here's the back. It says, four stars, a wonderful film. It says Roger Ebro Ebert, yeah, of the Chicago Sun-Times. Yep, there's a look at bonus features on all the discs. And, yep, we all know this film was directed by the famous Pete Doctor, which you'll see why I'm going to mention his name in the voice cast when I talk about who does great as the characters later on. Because, you know, he was the one who was the director of this film, as well as Monsters, Inc. and Inside Out and the other Pixar film from last year, Soul. And, yep, this is the version that also kind of looks like the 3D Blu-ray release from 2012. And, yeah, yep, here's the actual Blu-ray case. Looks to be the same. Yep, here's some inserts. Here's the Blu-ray disc with the movie, which you have Carl and Russell. And here's the Blu-ray disc with the bonus features. And you have Doug and Kevin. And here's the DVD disc, which has the same characters as the Blu-ray with the movie. And here's the digital copy, which is a shiny yellow disc. You can see some artwork in the back of Carl and Russell and Doug as well. When they're on Charles's... Charles... Once ship after his demise. Yep. So yeah, let's get in with the plot of Up. It takes place with this this um this boy named Carl who eventually grows into an elderly man, and also becoming a retired balloon salesman with his after his late wife Ellie passed away and. Anyways, sorry about that, as I was trying to say, yep, he wants to, yeah, Carl wants to do this dream of going on an adventure for his childhood and late wife, Ellie, and you know, he wants to live on Paradise Falls, and you know, yeah, but then this kid, this wilderness explorer kid named Russell wants to join him as well, and they meet two suspicious creatures, well, a mis misfit dog named Doug and this tall bird, Kevin, who they're trying to get Kevin to s realize she actually has a, some baby birds because, she, cause, well, she's a mother bird. But the evil Charles Muntz wants to keep her hostage and they just have to do whatever they can to save her and, and yeah, basically get 
her back to her babies. And yeah. So yeah, that's the basic plot. So what do I think of this Pixar film? I gotta say, Up is a really great movie from 2009. Even though it was competing with the... The, um... The sixth film in the Harry Potter series, The Half-Blood Prince... This is probably one of my favorites of 2009. You know, the screenplay and animation are great, because this is actually when they're starting to get really good with their 3D animation, because this is the last film of the good Pixar films, and then starting with the next one, that being Toy Story 3, we go into the... A lot of people say the mediocre Pixar timeline, because, you know, a lot of people don't care for that timeline too much. But this is actually a great one. I will admit. So yeah, yes, the voice cast does an amazing job. I think it's Jeremy Larry. Yeah, does an amazing job as young Carl. But the late Ed Asner, like I said, I'm doing this in honor of him. May he rest in peace now. But he does awesome as the elderly grown up Carl Fredrickson. And one of the workers at Pixar, Bob Peterson, I think if, if I'm not mistaken, yeah, yeah, Bob Peterson, he does amazing as Doug's voice. And you know. Yeah, I think that was correct. And you know, one of the other officers at Pixar, Pete Doctor, who's also the director of this film, he does an amazing job as the bird Kevin for her squawking sounds. And yeah, and also the late Christopher Plummer, may he, rest, may he also rest in peace now, but I'm doing this for Ed Asner. He was awesome as... Charles Muntz, and yeah, so yeah, and also the musical numbers are great, and everything else is great, so yeah, I think Up is a great movie from 2009, and also a great Pixar movie from 2009, and I'm definitely gonna give it five out of five stars, you knew this would come, because you know, there, there are no actually problems with this film, nothing at all, but if you guys don't like this movie that much, I totally respect your opinion, because like I said, this was Considered, all people say to consider this is the last of the good earlier Pixar films before they went into doing movies that people don't care about anymore, starting with Toy Story 3 and beyond, and yeah. So anyways, yep. I say give Up a try, everyone, if you guys have not seen it. But I'm sure 100% of you have absolutely seen Up when it first came back in 2009. Yep, I saw this movie when it came out in theaters, and yeah. But it just wasn't on release date. So anyways, yep. That's going to be it for this movie review, everyone, on Disney and Pixar's Up. To do this in memory of the actor Ed Asner. May he rest in peace now, because we'll miss him. Because I want to do this in honor of Edward Asner. And yeah. So anyways, yeah. Hopefully, it'll be a great memory to Ed Asner. And, and to all you viewers out there... Definitely give Up a try if you've definitely not seen it. But if you guys have seen it, that's totally cool. So anyways, yep, that's going to be it for this movie review, everyone, on Disney and Pixar's Up. And, yeah, I hopefully liked doing this movie review, and hopefully this will give out a great thing in loving memory of Ed Asner, and hopefully you guys will like this movie review. So, yep, that's going to be it for this video, everyone. So, have a nice time, everyone. This is Movie and Game Lover 98 saying goodbye for now, and hopefully this movie review will help to commemorate Ed Asner because he will always be remembered as the greatest actor of this movie. And yeah, so yep, stay tuned for more videos coming possibly soon, everyone. And hopefully they'll be exciting. And bye.